Well, here we are back in the shop again today, guys. Cleaning up. But we're finally getting there. Got the bench cleaned a little bit. Got the heads cleaned up and ready to go. Set of dark 200s. Iron Eagles, they're all right. All the Dewalt stuff, bits, and all that good junk. But the best part, we got the block ready to go to the machine shop. And we got little S10 back in the shop. Got all new tie rod, ball joints, all new suspension stuff under the front, upper and lower control arms. Y'all. Look underneath. I don't know if you can see how well y'all can see it. But it's narrowed up. Got a 9 inch forward under it with a 488 and spool. Coil over, ladder bars. Put a 110 pound spring on the back. This, uh, this truck was built by another person and it kind of caught on fire and uh, burnt the cab off of it. So we got it, you come to the other side, you can see it. So you can see up there somewhat where the paint got burnt. But bed was fine, chassis was fine, just burnt the cab up oh, bad. So the guy got in a tight for money and we wanted another project. And here we go. We found uh, we found a daggone extra cab truck that was camoed all up, so I took the cab off of it and put on this chassis after we blasted and painted the chassis. And then I didn't like the electric windows, so I wanted manual windows. So I found a parts blazer. I stole the doors and the fenders off of. That's a 2000 model, so I like the front end of the 2000 a lot better than I do the 95, 96s with little glass headlights. So I'm gonna change it to dual headlights too. It's gonna have a little uh, 383 in it, hydraulic roller, flat top, uh, pump gas motor. Just something to drive, mess around with, race a little bit, do whatever. Got a 3500 stall converter to go back in it and a uh, $200 overdrive transmission that was built to handle it. So we'll see. I'm not real faithful with them, but we'll see what happens. But other than that, we've been out here in the shop piddling all day. Finally got this little girl back in the, bone, in the shop on the lift. So we can start running brake lines, fuel lines, and all that good stuff. Anyway, that's about it, guys. See y'all next time.